Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on LaTeX programming. Now in today's tutorial, we'll be looking at a very interesting concept and that will and that concept is will be, I mean this one will be useful for making presentations in LaTeX. Okay? And uh, it's po and it's possible using the class called uh, document class called as Beamer. Now Beamer class, using that you can make presentations, and we I'll tell you guys how to do that and in in this tutorial. Okay. Now first thing you have to keep, first thing is that uh, Beamer class is something similar to how other classes work like report or uh, article. Okay. Except that the document at the end of the day will be in landscape mode with a lot of uh, will be in landscape mode when in with a lot of slides like a press like this like these okay okay now i'll get i'll get to the to concept one up one by one 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 by one now to start a document to start a document class i mean to start the file what you do is that just put document class and leave the options uh, box alone as of now and just write the class name beamer there are other options over here which I'll let, let you guys in, know in a minute in some time okay and then uh, if you want to have a, a logo okay I'm just going to you know uh, uh, you know comment this out I'll, j I'll just comment this out and comment this out and run this Okay, I'll just tell you guys what's happening. I'm using Tech Studio as of now, but doesn't matter. If even if you're working in Tech Maker, it'll work fine. Okay, doesn't matter. Now this is how your presentation looks right looks like as of now, and we'll do something about it, and I'll explain you guys what's happening over here. Now, uh, now to uh, let's look at the contents one by one. Now this is the document class header. This is used for putting the graphics and images into it, and now. This line is actually a title line. Now, uh, put the backslash title and just write the title of your project. Sorry, the title of your presentation over here. And then, if you if you want to have multiple lines of presentation, multiple lines of uh, multiple lines of title, you just put two backslashes and write your contents, and then produ produce two backslashes and write contents, so on and so forth, and you can go on. Similarly, if you want to go with author, author. Okay, if you want to write an author name, just put backslash author and write your name. I just wrote my name here. And if you want to have additional contents or information to explain, okay, uh, you can write over here. For instance, I can write here as M -text, uh, M Tech student from the so and so institute, so on and so forth. Like that, if you are, let's say, you are a student of some other, you're a PhD student somewhere else, you can just say that. Um, your name, PhD students in this so and so institute, so on and so forth, multiple lines like that. And uh, technically, only this part alone matters, uh, but these are just add as accessory information. And next is the date. Next is the date. Now this is used for putting the date in the doc date in the document. And if you want to have multiple lines after it, you can just put two backslashes and two backslashes and continue on. Okay. And uh, and to make the logo present, the logo come in all the slides. You see this corner over here. You have the logo over here, and that uh, this is repeating in all the slides. To have this logo, what you need is that you need this command backslash logo, and inside this command, include the graph. You use the include graphics file. Include graphics command to include the logo. To include the logo like this. These are some of the features of Tech Studio. So Tech Tech Studio because it will give you an idea of by look by just palm, uh, prompting up information and about the images it just gives you an idea of what's happening and this kind of looks better and this way it's kind of much a little better than tech maker in these kind of features well both of them have their own plus and advantages and disadvantages so they are e kind of equivalent so, with, so you can just cho choose whichever you want it doesn't matter for me i find both of them in, uh, simple both of them good so i keep both but and uh, but but then it's a personal preference at the end of the day. So you can choose whatever you want. Okay, and then here's the thing. Here's the thing. If you st to start writing contents, what you do is you just start start begin document, and uh, end document as we used to do for all the other uh, 
documents the only thing is okay to make slides okay uh, you just have to create uh, to make slides and write them and can't write them one after the other okay you need this environment called as frame environment now what exactly frame does is that it just creates a slide one single slide okay and then in, in this slide you write all your contents and go on and, and you proceed further and you proceed further okay and uh, to uh, this entire beamer class is divided divided into slides and if you want to write any contents into the document you need to have frames do you need to have slides and to create slides you need frames begin frame and end frame you start writing your contents between begin frame environment and end frame environment okay the first slide this this slide over here is actually the title page uh, so what I've done is that to make the title page possible, I just wrote this wrote backslash title page between uh, begin backslash begin frame and backslash end frame, and the contents of this title page all come from the top. That the uh, tit the title, author, date, date, and log and log uh, date. They all uh, they all come from all of them are packed inside the title page in this page. Okay. Now next thing is next thing is uh, to create a table of contents okay first thing you have to make is that you just have to make sections throughout the documents just like an article class or a report class just make sections throughout the documents and then okay just create an another frame like begin frame and then after that begin frame open a new bracket and inside it write the frame title or the slide title so for this frame okay for this frame I return the title to be outline so if you see this this uh, uh, document this slide has that uh, title outline okay and uh, this backslash table of contents will just generate the table of contents table of contents throughout the doc uh, uh, based on the sections and spread uh, partitions you use throughout the document okay and then and then this this part goes on and then if you want to create sections in the documents it's simple all you have to do is just put backslash sections and then type sections and then type a section name and then go on with it and from what happens is that from here your section starts and go goes on and if you want to make uh, if you want to make a bullet list like this it's absolutely simple bullet list or number list like this is absolutely simple just type begin frame and end frame and inside that you just write your contents and then you start uh, begin enumerate and end enumerate and use item commands to write all your contents and this way all the contents will be placed within the within a uh, frame and the thing is sometimes if you write a lot of contents which do not fit in the frame they just get uh, they don't get uh, they do not carry over to the next slide instead they just chopped off they just truncated or chopped off so be careful with that so if you have a lot of contents either uh, split it between slides or shrink the some contents or shrink the size of the contents so that they fit in the slide uh, yeah okay these are the only options you have otherwise if you don't follow any of these either uh, no, not either uh, if you don't follow any of these then the contents will be you know uh, truncated in the slide so be careful about that so just be cautious about that and one more thing is if you want to add uh, if you wanted to highlight any of the document any particular part of the document with certain colors with certain colors then it's possible using this option color as we saw in one of the previous tutorials in articles and report classes while working with articles and report in mean, articles and report classes what you do is just use backslash color and inside it write the color name and what you do is it set uh, you can instead of enveloping the contents with the uh, curly braces you can start the curly brace and then set the environment to be red like this like this what i'm doing what i'm do done here is that i just include curly braces and then I wrote backslash red into it and then I wrote the contents into it so essentially all the contents within this curly braces will have the red color they become they behave like a single field that's the whole idea behind it and that way the third point alone is red whereas everything else is black okay and then and then before i go on with the animation part let me just explain as to what and all is happening at the top to give you guys a clear idea now this is the beamer class okay now beamer class has several other options one of them is actually 